wonderful world of Disney. And now, tonight's program from the wonderful world of Disney. The exciting conclusion of Hog Wild. This week, we continue the adventure story about the Melbourne family who moved west from the city of Chicago to a remote hog farm in Idaho. Here, they met Rope John, a farmhand, and a dog named Toppy. <laughs> Toppy lost no time in adopting the Melbourne family. But young Sterling wasn't readily accepted by the local farm kids in town. He just might mess up them fancy duds, city boy. <laughs> well, when the local bully, Hank Ames, learned that Sterling was pretty good with a lariat, he talked him into trying to rope a hog, a trick he knew to be almost impossible. <laughs> Deciding to sell his hogs on the upcoming drive, Morris Melbourne called on Farmer Tobias, the man in charge. Hey, Morris! Watch out for that sound! Oh, Sterling! No! Appears to me that he has several crushed vertebrae. He's hurt bad. How bad? He may never walk again. In another encounter with Hank Ames and his pals, Sterling saved Hank from drowning, and a friendship began between the city boy and the country boy. Since the Melbournes needed $500 for father's operation, anyway. Tobias agreed to let Sterling and his hogs join him on the 100-mile trek to market. And no more hounds. I don't want that dog here mauling my hogs. But we need Toppy to help us drive our herd. If I see that dog, I'll shoot him. However, they got off to a bad start. Sterling's hogs unintentionally got mixed up with the Tobias herd. When we get to Miller's Creek for feed and rest, you cut out your hogs and move way back. As far back away from me as you can get here. <laughs> Let's go find him. 
Hey, you wasted half my day already. Won't be waiting much long before I start chasing under bits to over bits. Yeah. Hey, Sterl, come here. One line down, see? of a hog market left. Once the buyer gets all he needs, then the price drops way down. Hey, no sense waiting two days when you can leave right now. There's a shortcut over them hills to Prairie Town. Cuts off a full day's driving time. How come Tobias don't take it? Well, he likes a stage road because it's easy. Look, John, we can beat Tobias to Prairie Town with that shortcut. Uh, I think we're just begging for trouble. Hank, will you go with us? Why, sure, Sterl. If you say it's okay. I'm just a hard hand. He's the trail boss. I'll hire on for two car wheels, same as Tobias was gonna pay. You may not have that much to spare after the drive. Pay me when you got it. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a race on our hands. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Can't wait to see old Tobias drop his eyeballs and we get to Prairie Town first. I can't either. <laughs> it's gonna be sulky. I still ain't keen on this shortcut. We don't know what we're heading into. Oh, ain't nothing to a rope, John. Prairie Town straight away north. If we head right for that mountain peak, we're gonna get there. Tobias is getting ahead of us. We better get going. I reckon you know we might be making a mistake. We don't have a choice. Oh, <laughs> 
real easy. Just move your lips.
Any more shut on, you never get them open again. Get away. Hey, boys. Daylights are burning, and so are your eggs. a shortcut. No, no. Uh, I figure you lost. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Vernon? Yep. I reckon so. You see, this here's private land. You know, I believe they's trespassing. Yeah. Didn't see no sign that said this is private land. Well, that don't make no never mind. Sorry if we're trespassing, mister, but our hog stampeded from the... Well, now, that ain't our grief now, is it? <laughs> what do you fellas want? Well, you see... When you trespass, you got to pay. <laughs> we don't have any money. Oh, no, you don't need any money. Uh, do they judge? Eh, no, 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 no. Hogs will do just fine. <laughs> no, I can't spare one. Well, now, once not what I had in mind, I was thinking more in terms of, as I say, four. <laughs> no! Back, back. Now, son, keep a tight hold on him unless you want to see him shot dead. <laughs> I reckon we ought to... Cut out our trespassing fee, Judd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, you don't want to do that. Just get somebody hurt. <laughs> I'll show you there ain't no hard feelings. I'll let you make it up to me, all right, OK? Vernon. Yeah? You like this here pea shooter? Boy, I sure do. <laughs> well, it's yours. It's a present from a friend here. <laughs> Boy, I've been itching for a new shooter. <laughs> hey, how about a few more hogs? Well, we don't want to be piggy. Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think eight of them will be just fine. <laughs> We're much obliged to you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Here you go, pig. Sure, sure, come on, pig. Sure, 
Get out of here to full gallop. We've got to get those hogs back. Well, how do you even do that? They got our rifles and we ain't got diddly. And it ain't worth risking the whole herd for eight hogs. Besides, we don't even know where they're taking them. Topic and track them easy enough. We'll drive the herd as far as we can today. Then Rope John, you'll stay with the herd while Hank and I come back tonight. Hank will stay with the herd. I got a score to settle. Do you have any eights? Fish. <laughs> Vernon Spider hears something outside. Why don't you get up, open the door, and let him out? Just a minute now. I'm trying to figure out this your hand. Why is it that it takes you from now to kingdom come to get your hands straight? Bert, th there may be a badger out there. Why don't you get up, go out with those spider, and check? On account of he's your dog. Consider a false move. Says I don't make it. Don't even twitch, you poor cat. I ain't twitching. Just make sure that thing don't go off and, and hurt somebody. Boy, old Toppy chased that hand right clean out of the country. <laughs> All right, outside. Come on. Grab some of that and we'll put a few bows on this fella. <laughs> Red pretty package. What about the other one? Oh, he's gonna rest easy for quite a spell. Somebody's got to cut this poor devil free. Or he's gonna be buzzard bait for long the way you got him tied. Think we ought to take the guns so they don't follow us? Oh, now, you don't want to take our rifles. And we'll plumb starve without them. And you don't want that now. Do you? Well, the notion ain't actual displeasing. If we could only be sure they wouldn't follow us. Uh, how about, uh, 
if I give you my word? <laughs> that ain't gonna get it. I, um, uh, know what will. What you gonna do? I'm gonna leave you rifles. <laughs> 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 In little bitty pieces. You'll need a Wyoming twister to shake them loose from where they've been hit at. We clean forgot to fill up the barrels. What are we gonna do? Well, give them all we can, and then move on till we find more. You said there's lots of creeks on this shortcut. There were, three years ago. Well, maybe we'll find one before the sun fries us. Found you too. How many we got now? Enough to build a brain about twice the size of yours. Just plumb wore out. Well, it can't be. We've got a long way to go yet. The hogs are tired, too. Well, we're all tired. But Tobias is due in Prairie Town tomorrow morning. And we got to drive all night to make up for the day and a half we lost. Hey, you can bet Tobias lost plenty of time with that storm, too. <laughs> He's probably still chasing his hogs. Well, we're not going to get top dollar for our herd unless we beat him. We'll get there first. Tobias will still be out on the stage when we're counting our money. Well, we can feed him the last of the grain and water and then start fresh with the sun. 
Okay, but we gotta start early. these last few days and doing it well beyond your years. You can handle it. Okay, I'll try. But what if... Get going. I got a ton of prairie dust in my throat that needs washing down with a cold beer. I'll try. I'll need all the help I can get to load the cars. Well, I ain't going nowhere. Deal's a deal. Excuse me. You're the buyer, ain't you? That's me, lad. Red or hold on. Well, let's see you made it, huh? I was thinking the prairie swallowed you up. <laughs> What's it you're after, lads? Well, my name's Sterling Melbourne, and I got a herd of hogs to sell you. They're just right outside of town. I've already bought all I need. Well, can't you use some more? Can't I use some more? How many do you have? Seventy. I don't suppose I should be doing this since I've already got my quarter, but I can extend my authority to buying yours. Put a two cents a pound, mind. But, sir, two cents isn't enough. I figure we got to have at least three cents a pound. After I reach my quarter, that's all I've been paying, and I can't do better than that. But, sir, I need $500. We just got through driving our hogs over 100 miles for that kind of money. Look, Strill's paw got hurt bad. He needs an operation to walk in. That's what the money's for. <sighs> Strill, I'd pay you more if I could. But I don't fix the prices. It just works for them that does. Everybody's depending on me. I tell you what. You drive the hogs in, we weigh them. You just might have enough. But... Oh, okay, Red. We'll be right back with them. Come on, Stro. Oh, well, that's the last lad. That one weighs 185 pounds. Let's see, that comes to... $386.40. We'll call it 387 I know it's not as much as you need. I wish I could give you more, lad. Thank you. sell the horses in the wagon. Ah, oh, they ain't worth much. Besides, we need them to get home. Must be something I can do. Well, if we think on it, we'll come up with something. I got a little thinking to do over to the saloon. They got a beer a mile high with my name on it. Be back directly, and we'll think of something. Come on. Hey, 
Well, you're mighty handy with the Riata. Maybe you could stay to rope and show, charge a mission. Nobody would pay to watch me rope. What if you was to rope a hog? Folks can't see that. I don't know if I can do it again. I bet you can. I'll take that bet. How much a wager you got in mind? We were really making a bet. Uh, he's just shooting off their mouths. <laughs> no, stroking two rope a hog. I seen him do it. Ain't nobody. Nobody can rope a hog. Stroke can. Well, now, I'll just bet you even money that he can't. Come on, fish up your betting money or button up your yaps. Well, we ain't betting. Wait, Hank. Maybe we are. <laughs> How much you got? I need $120. And I'll bet that much I can rope a hog. <laughs> yeah. 30, 70, 120. And you got yourself. Uh, wait. Well, uh, we'll get red to hold the stakes, huh? Come on. Are you sure you know what you're doing, boy? Well, it's your money, Stowe. All right, Tobias, let's set up the ground rules. The roping takes place in the auction canal. The lad gets three tries at the hog. And I'll supply the hog. All right. Are we all agreed? Then let's get on with it, then. The box cars will be coming in any time. Found money! Found money! <laughs> Thanks for helping. Ah. Give me great pleasure to see your old back hog. As far as I know, it's impossible, lad. It's not impossible. It's a good lad. Hey, did you hear some fool kid just bet over a hundred dollars he can rope a hog? You're Josh. This I gotta see. There's over a hundred dollars riding on this kid. Gonna try and rope himself a hog. Jump the horse fast. This ought to be some. Come on, let's get over there. Killed. We're going to call off the bet. Well, we can't call it off. Father's dependent on us. Well, we'll get the money some other way. There isn't any other way. This bet's good as one. Stay mean, Mama. If you're dead set on it, then, maybe we could rig up a platform out there to rope from. The hogs can't see nothing above them. And roping from a platform, the side never even know he was there. He's right. I've got some empty packing cases. I'll get some of the lads to move them in for you. Hey, boys, come over here. Come on. Move these two boxes in there now. Come on, move them. Let's have them. Set them up. Come on. Let my mama stay me there. All right, come on. Over there. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Set them right down here, right? Come 
Wouldn't it be something to be up and get it? Ain't no way. All right, Tobias. Let the sow go. Yeah. All right, turn on the loose. Come on, Scott. left, and I'll stake that for another chance. We know stay. Well, boy, you want to throw away all your money? I'll be tickled to death to take it. But, uh, you only get one more try. Huh? That boy dies hard, doesn't he? The way he sees it, he got no other choice. We're pulling for you, son. Don't get jittery. Go easy, boy. Here, Porky Butch. Here, Porky Butch. <laughs> 